Hello folks, how's it going? Welcome to my virgin kitchen. Uh, I don't know where I'm going. Uh, today we're doing another mini food. It is the turn of a mini grilled cheese. You know, our mini foods where we sort of scale down, it's the opposite of giant foods. Because some people want our giant foods like, oh, there's so much food wasted, or, you know, you're just chucking that away. But these people don't actually realize that we like give it away to charity and friends. So none of it really ever gets wasted. Uh, so I can't really win. Am I sort of doing anti-food wastage by doing a mini food? You should have made it bigger. Just can't win. Anyhow, mini foods, you guys love that playlist with the spaghetti bolognese and pizza and pavlova already done. Uh, you can check it out here and here in the description down below. Today, grilled cheese. So remember guys, all the mini foods need to fit on this little teddy bear plate and I've been very kindly sent this cool chopping board, so thank you for that. Uh, I've got my little kit here, I've got my little scalpel, I've got a thimble, because I think I might be able to grate cheese on that. Uh, some leftover bread from this morning, the girls didn't eat it, and a little block of cheese. Let's see how we get on. All right, first tool I'm gonna to use is this kind of like toenail scraper thing. Uh, remember this kit is dedicated for my mini food. This isn't like, don't go nicking your grandma's toenail thing because that'll be disgusting. What we're gonna do uh, is get some butter on there and just sort of try and butter uh, this scrap of bread. Here we go. I'm only buttering this now because in a minute I'm gonna cut it into little squares and that'll be really hard uh, to get the butter on it. So uh, yeah, that's looking nice and covered now. Alrighty, so I've been using my scalpel here uh, to cut out, it almost looks like a little pillow. I've made a little pillow of bread. That is one slice there. I'm gonna make another one right here with this scrap, about there. And hopefully, our cheese will go on that. There's our slices of bread. I probably could make them smaller, but I'm hungry. So I've got this thimble here, and I'm gonna try something. I don't know if it's gonna work. I'm gonna just try and grate the cheese. No. <laughs> that is definitely not working. Luckily, I have a backup plan. There we go. Cheese. In true grilled cheese style, I'm just using my tweezers here. This is not very successful. <laughs> to flip over the bread so it's butter side down. We're now gonna grab our cheese and just like load it on there. I'm just gonna dump it on like that. Oh my gosh. Using the tweezers to sit the other lid on top. It's gonna need a little bit of pressing down. Hands in a minute. Uh, uh, uh. Alrighty, I don't know about you, but that is looking like a grilled cheese. And by the way, if you're after a proper grilled cheese recipe, I've already done that and I'll leave a link in the description below. Let's try and cook this now. This is where I'm thinking it could fail, okay? So the pan isn't hot yet, there's no flame on it, and I want it that way so it can actually gradually warm up and give that more cooking time. Because it's so small, it's probably gonna catch really quickly. So uh, let's get it on a really low flame. Probably just about see that flame there. It is literally the lowest my hob will do. So uh, I'll keep you posted. That's been like 15 seconds, and it's actually starting to sizzle already. The cheese is starting to melt though, it's potential. Can't leave it any longer, the pan's starting to smoke because it thinks there's nothing in it. I'm gonna flip it over with this knife. Oh wow, can you see that color? That's pretty darn cool, check that out. It's like actually working, I'm just gonna quit while the going's good. Okay, so it's a teeny bit overdone on the bottom there, but it's actually worked. Look, we've got gooey melty cheese pouring out, amazing. All right, let's bring the tweezers in to sit it on that teddy bear plate. Amazing times. I am gonna gobble this right now. Here we go then guys, a mini grilled cheese. I'm gonna shove it in a shot glass. My backup plan actually, because I was worried about it burning, was to shove it in the microwave. Anyhow, down the hatch. You know what, that tasted just like it. And it's surprising with these other mini foods as you'll see as well, that how filling they are in the shot glass is quite deceptive. So maybe I should start the mini food diet. Anyhow guys, any more mini food suggestions, let me know down below. Check out my last two videos on the screen right now and I'll see you again. Next time, the shot glass.